Hey guys, Pringle Gaming here. Welcome to a Mill prediction video. Obviously, this one is for Bradford versus Mill, the one at Wembley, the one that really could determine how well the season has gone in fans' opinions. To be honest, it's been a pretty good season for Millwall. Obviously, getting to the playoffs was one of the main objectives. Promotion, probably more so than just getting to the actual playoffs itself. Now, I'm going to get into what I actually think is going to happen in this game, and well. I reckon it's going to be a 3-1 win to Mill. Now, I said in my season review video, if you haven't seen it, there's going to be a link in the description, and if you click the eye button, then you'll find out what my views are on the team. But I said that we would win 3-1, would be coming from behind. Now, I still think that's the same thing, and I'm still going to stand by that. However, I'm going to add one thing to it. I reckon that Jed Wallace is going to score in this game. I just have a real inkling. Now, into information you should know, Bradford have 10 wins against us with 18 losses and 18 draws. The last time they beat us was actually when Stephen Davis scored the winner last year. Now, as for Millwall, that means that we've got 18 wins and obviously 18 draws with the 10 losses. The last time we beat them was the 3-1 win in the first leg of last year's playoffs. And a cool little stat for you is that Bradford are one of the only sides to remain unbeaten at home so it's obviously going to be a pretty hard challenge trying to beat Bradford but we'll have to see how it goes now in terms of the playoffs Bradford obviously overcame Fleetwood 1-0 over the two legs scoring the first goal with Rory McArdle only in the first leg and the second leg ended 0-0 now that was a polar opposite to Millwalls it ended 0-0 at the den and then at Glanford Park Millwall won 3-2 just holding on to that win and getting to Wembley. Now, as for the Wembley trips, there's only been three times that Bradford have gone to a stadium called Wembley, whether that's Old Wembley or New Wembley. Now, they went to Old Wembley in 1996 for the second division playoff where they beat Notts County 2-0. And then, since then, they've been to the New Wembley and that was twice in one season. Obviously, they went to the League Cup final against Swansea where they did, unfortunately, lose 5-0, but they were amazing during that entire run. And then they went and won promotion to League One following a win against Northampton Town. Now, as for Millwall, it's been a fairly regular occurrence, us going to the Den. Obviously, we lost to Barnsley 3-1 quite recently, and we've been to, obviously, New Wembley quite a lot, as we've had quite a few playoffs. And obviously, we have the Swindon, Scunthorpe, Barnsley and then we also did go for that semi-final against Wigan Athletic where unfortunately we did lose but the only good thing we can take from that is they did win the FA Cup. Now as for the team news, Stuart McCall's men will be welcoming back Alex Jones the attacker from his hamstring injury and that's the only real thing to know there. As for Millwall, Neil Harris should be having a full squad to pick for as long as Sean Cummins makes his return from injury. Now, as for the top goal scorers, Jordi Hawaila is their top goal scorer. He has been getting 12 goals this season, last scoring on the 11th of March when they beat Coventry 2-0. So, that's quite a while ago. But as for Millwall, obviously, Steve Morrison and Lee Gregory are the top goal scorers. They both scored in our last match against Scunthorpe United. As for the top assisters for Bradford, Mark Marshall and Nicky Law both are top with six assists. As for Millwall, it's Steve Morrison, who's got nine assists. He obviously last set up Lee Gregory. And now I do apologise if you see me looking up there and there. I'm just trying to get it off the monitor on a bit of paper. So I hope you guys have actually just enjoyed this prediction video. I'm trialling out some new things in light of obviously moving it forward for next season. So obviously I'll be going Wembley. Maybe I'll see some of you guys there. But until obviously my analysis video for that game, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, let's go get this win at Wembley. Goodbye.